Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tart. Really quick one for you today. I'm going to show you how to create this working magnifying glass inside of After Effects. Basically how to track and pan a zoom or magnify effect around a screen. It can be used for anything you want. Let's dive right in then because this one is nice and simple. First thing you want, create a new composition. Uh, 1920, 1080 is fine. 30 frames a second, no worries at all. Create a uh, solid for your background with layer new solid. Mine's going to be red and we're just going to lock this away. We then need something to zoom in on, so probably just some text will do, and we'll type out something for our text. This is a zoomy fun time. Um, let's grab our text and just scale it up just a little bit. Although the point is that it's small, we can't see what it says, and we'll put it in the middle of our composition. So this is a zoomy fun time. Um, then you're going to need some kind of magnifying glass asset. Um, I downloaded this one for free Creative Commons off of the internet. I'm sure you can do the same. Um, it doesn't have to be magnifying glass. I'm just using that as an example for this tutorial. Position it on the screen in some way, in some size that you are happy with. And then make sure, this bit's important, make sure that you move the anchor point over towards the middle of the actual magnifying glass area. And that'll become important in a second and I'll tell you why. So that should do. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be pretty much roughly there. Let's bring this off screen for a moment then, maybe down here. And let's bring up some position and rotation keyframes on that layer by hitting P and R and then just clicking on both of the stopwatches. Let's move over a second or so with Control, Shift and right. And then we pick another couple of keyframes. And let's just move this guy onto screen so that it starts to line up with the edge of the words. Maybe give it a bit of rotation just to make it a bit more interesting. And then give it maybe four or five seconds, however long you think it's going to take them to read your sentence on screen. So one, two, three, maybe four seconds will do. Let's then move this to the other side of the magnifying glass, like so. And let's spin it out just a little bit more as well. So it's a bit flatter, like that. Um, oops, sorry, not yet. Let's do that as it disappears. So let's move off a second. Bring it down off of the um, page again and rotate it back a bit like so. So now we've got our magnifying glass coming on to the screen, moving across and coming off our screen again like so. Okay, let's give it a bit more of an intense rotation there so it doesn't look quite so bland. Let's select all of our keyframes here and hit F9 which easy eases them and then go over to our graph editor tool. You should see something that looks a little bit like uh, some horns or some ears. Um, if you don't see that that's because you're on the uh, value graph and you probably see something weird like this. You want to be on the speed graph. Um, select your last keyframe by clicking and dragging over it and zoom in so you can see the little yellow handles and then just drag that all the way to the left and do the same thing on the second keyframe here. Then, however, go to the third keyframe and the second keyframe. If you want this to go from fast to slow, you can do that as well, like so in the middle. But I think it looks better if you leave it easy eased so that it starts off completely slow, speeds up a little bit in the middle and ends slow again. Otherwise, it looks like it's whipping across the words too much. People might have trouble reading it. That's all the animation we need for our magnifying glass. Pretty happy with that. Nice and simple. Here's the fun bit. Grow over to one of your keyframes. Make sure that your playhead is aligned over one of the keyframes. And then we just need something that we can see zoomed in. Because if we do this at the moment, all we'd see is red because the background is a solid red. That's no good to us. So we're just gonna quickly make a new solid and I'm gonna add a gradient ramp to it. Okay, so we're gonna select this here. We're gonna go to our effects and presets panel and we're gonna type in gradient ramp. Like so, okay. Drag that down onto your solid. Now it does not matter at all what this looks like. It is only for reference and it's gonna go away soon. Push that below your magnifying glass, okay? And if you want to, below your text as well. Now we need a new adjustment layer. Layer, new adjustment layer, okay? Now on this adjustment layer, we are going to apply the magnify effect. And what the adjustment layers do is allow you to apply an effect that will hit any layer below the adjustment layer. So the zoom at this point is going to affect everything. Okay, so we're going to take magnify 
and add it to our adjustment layer. Um, and you can see that in the middle of our composition, we've zoomed in a little bit. However, we want this to be positioned, the position of this to be locked to the position of our magnifying glass, okay? Now that's nice and easy to do. The first thing you need to do is line this up with the center of the magnifying glass. But as you can see, it's zooming in over the top, which we do not want. What we want is it to zoom in underneath it like so. And this is why we need the gradient. So we can actually see what the size of our zoomed area is like. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to tell where it was when you were positioning it, okay? So I'm gonna come along and position that in the middle. If you want it to be exact, you can bring up the position keyframe of your magnifying glass, 470 by 544, and you can make that the same in the middle, 470 by 554. Okay, oh, that was 544, sorry, like so. Now we can see where the edge of that circle is. We just need to bring the size of this up until it meets the edges of our visible uh, magnifying glass. So let's zoom in so we can see a little bit better and start messing with the size until it hits the very edge, like so. Okay, now we are done with our uh, gradient layer, so we can just remove that entirely, okay? Now all we need to do, and this is the important bit, is go up to magnify on your adjustment layer and alt-click, hello Phoebe, my cat's just meowing as she comes in through the window there, uh, ignore that. <laughs> um, you can alt-click the keyframe stopwatch on the center um, value attribute on your magnify. This brings up the coding window for that particular property, okay? All you need to do, you don't have to type a damn thing, you just need to grab this little pick whip over here and drag it over to the position keyframes on your magnifying glass, voila. Now, if we hadn't moved that anchor point earlier, this would have then snapped, the magnifier would have snapped to the anchor point, which because it was, you know, an image this size was down here somewhere. That's why we need to move that anchor point to the center of the magnifying glass at the start. Click out of that and feel free to collapse it. And that is it. You are done. Watch as your magnifying comes along and zooms in the text. Now, it's not too zoomy at the moment. It's not much of a zoomy fun time. But however, if you want to increase that, you can do that no problem at all. You can just go over here to the magnification and say, double it. There we go. Now, this is a real zoomy fun time, like so. And that's it. You're absolutely finished. Like I said, nice and simple one. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, everybody. If you did, let me know. If you want more simple stuff like this in After Effects, also let me know. Uh, I'm never sure whether to go for like complete beginner, intermediate, quick tips, or whether it's an all mix of all three sort of things that you want on the channel. So do let me know in the comments below whether you did or didn't like this, whether you want more, whether you want more advanced stuff. Completely up to you guys. Just let me know, and hopefully I'll catch you all next time on TipTap. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.